okay a bit of a new camera angle today um, there's a reason for visiting this or revisiting this I should say um, these were it, it arises from the, the video that I made on conductive plastics not conducting plastics but a conductive polymer that uh, or a polymer that I made conductive which was um, at that time polystyrene basically I added some graphite powder and I got a, a, a very very low resistance um, so the other day I just quickly bashed up some more samples just to try it and see what was what um, to see if I could uh, get a low resistance because people kept saying to me well we can't achieve your low resistance or um, you know we, we can't get anywhere near it or whatever so I'm hoping you can see that meter there let's have a look just put the probes on this yeah okay so what I did was I, I mixed up a, a batch and all I did was I, I just kept adding more graphite powder to it um, that this one here should be the worst and that's hundred and uh, for some reason it's coming down okay and that's over a hundred ohms now if I go aluminium to that plastic it comes down a bit lower for some reason 40 odd ohms now this one I think from memory I did put more graphite in this one and straight away that's 11 ohms now if I go from one side to the other we get a reading of 6 ohms hoping you can see that meter um, and if I come closer in we get down to 4.5 ohms if I move over to this side of the uh, sample not, I'm hoping you can see all of this in camera shot so that's 5 ohms one side to the other 7.5 ohms um, again if I if I go aluminium which is what this is to the plastic 4.7 ohms so again if I go plastic plastic 8 ohms and it's going to vary because I didn't really you know pay too much attention to what I was doing I was just just going for it again just to show this 6 ohms so that's that um, now, I also, huh, people said to me, well you can't do it on metal, and other people said, well you need to do it on metal, uh, you can't win. But here is, again, this is on paper. Now this one should be rubbish, because I put an L there, which is less, so I know which sample was which. So that's 70, 80 odd ohms there. If I go one side to the other, 101 ohms. Now these two samples, and as you can see, I just splodged this stuff on. I didn't pay, particularly pay too much attention to what I was doing, you know. Um, 10 ohms, one side to the other, 47 ohms, 46 ohms come in 39 ohms 30 millimeters there 33 ohms let's go closer about five millimeters 13 ohms so this one I think I'll put a little bit more graphite in 8 ohms one side to the other 9.4 ohms and, and that's about 60 mil there three inches something like that 8.7 ohms 
So, that's on a piece of paper. This, um, <laughs> we've got more and most there. So, that one should be better than that one, according to what I've said. This is on cardboard. Um, and it is plastic, you know. Breaking a bit off there, look. It's plastic. So, this one then. I'll go side to side. And straight away we've got 4.4 ohms. If I come right in, 3 ohms, 2.9 ohms. And if I go at about 5 millimetres, 2.4 ohms. So, I'm hoping that this one's better then. So, let's go side to side. Now that's a good 100 millimetres there, mate. Well, 120 millimetres in fact, 3.6 ohms. If I go halfway, 2.9, and if I go at about 15 mil, 1.5 ohms. Go even closer, 1.2 ohms. And there you have it. What can I say? Um, I will tell you what my secret is. Now this is a piece I did a while back. Um, Again, it's you know it's plastic. Okay, plastic it is. Break a bit off. There it is. I made this one for a uh, to be an electrode on a, a battery uh, battery cell, and it works. Works fine, no problem. So we'll we'll test this one side to the other, and we've got 8.4 ohms. We go in the middle. 6.3 3.9 so that one there is better than this actually let me turn it over to the other side 6.1 5.8 4 4.5 so there you go um, That's the polystyrene. Now this here is um, something I've been playing with. It's it's bioplastic. That's a fairly flexible bit, and that is quite rigid. And this here, there's again four samples of that bioplastic with added graphite. So. I can move that over there a little bit we can get closer in I'm still hoping you can see that meter there okay now I can't remember which one's which but looking at them I think uh, that's probably the worst one and that's going to be the best let's have a look well we've got nothing on that one and we've got 50, well, do that again. This is at 30 millimeters, we've got 65 ohms. So this one should be better. That's at 30 millimeters, 20, 22 ohms. Let's go to 20 millimeters, 15 point, well, 14, 15 ohms. Go to one centimetre, 11 ohms. So that's that one. This one, twenty ohms, twelve ohms, twelve ohms. So fifteen. Off the scale, well, I've just just broken that piece. 65 ohms, uh, and again, as you can see, uh, you know, not much attention paid to, and, and uh, in fact, it's all cracking. That that is riddled with cracks, and I can still get a resistance reading out of it. That's 16. 16 ohms and that's either side of a crack in the plastic so 
there you go um, quite why other people can't achieve this I don't really know but I will tell you what my secret is um, I don't use uh, 5 micron graphite uh, powder I don't use 45 micron I use extremely large flakes uh, and that's my secret and what you hopefully you get is these flakes overlapping each other like so instead of trying to rely on all these little dots touching each other these little spheres or whatever uh, and that's my secret so you know uh, why other people cannot get these resistances I just don't know um, let's let's just take a measurement of that eventually so that piece there is it's three and a half inches from end to end and I'm going to go end to end with the probes and that's five ohms I'm going to go halfway 3.9 ohms a quarter of the distance 3.3 ohms 10 millimeters 2.4 ohms now let's try and do 5 millimeters which is that we've got 1.4 ohms and if I move a little bit closer okay 1.4 1.4 1.1 I'm just testing various parts of it now 1.7 1.4 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.2 1.3 1.4 and it is, as you can see, plastic, okay? Nothing special about it, polystyrene with graphite. So, I can only guess that people just, well they're not trying hard enough and that's all there is to it, so I can't be held responsible for that. Um, it was mixed with a carrier which was toluene. I melted the polystyrene in uh, acetone because it's cheaper than toluene and then kept it in suspension as a liquid uh, a liquid plastic polymer um, or a liquid polystyrene with toluene and then added my graphite um, now I did thicken it up quite a bit because I added some more polystyrene then so it wasn't so uh, uh, loose a solution but um, that's it and as you can see there's no care no attention it's as rough as anything you know and that's that over and out okay because I'm trying to get a new camera angle on this new tripod and all the rest of it I didn't realize that you couldn't see a lot of that I've just looked at the video and there you go um, so what I'm going to do I now know you can see that um, yep yeah, still in shot and you couldn't see what I was doing with this aluminium so here we go I'm going to go aluminium first to this piece here <laughs> yeah that's better I think I just went through the plastic 130 ohms let's say okay this piece here 6.9 ohms okay so I'm on the bottom and I'm on the plastic and that there's a quite a, a thick ridge there actually for some reason so 5.5 ohms so if I go to the all of these marks these imprints that you can see on that 
um, were from me trying to test it while it was still wet or not completely dry <laughs> so uh, now if we go plastic to plastic we've got 30, 30 odd ohms there and 12 ohms there look that's the distance going to pause this for a second. Okay, I thought I was hearing voices. Well, I did hear voices. Right, so this piece on the aluminium, what I'm going to do is go one corner to the other. And we've got 12, well, 10 ohms. So that's that. This is the bit on paper. That should, that's got less. That's an L there. So that should be rubbish. And it is, so we'll stay away from that piece. This piece here, 12 ohms, if I go end to end, 24, in the middle, 16, 10 mil, 10 ohms. So that bit worked out okay. Now this, which has got an M, again, as same as that, which is most if I go end to end first, 11 ohms, half weight, 9.5 ohms, even closer, 7.2, even closer, 5.1. Now to the bit on the cardboard again, knowing that you can now see this, 4.8. Three point eight, two point nine, ten millimeters, two point three. This piece end to end, which has got the most graphite in it, four point two in the middle, three point five, two point eight. 2.3 ok and there you have it right well very briefly um, a few weeks back I was messing around with some plastics again and, and in particular this um, bioplastic um, with graphite additions and all, all sorts of other stuff um, I just decided to make a little bit of video uh, with that dodgy camera angle on my new tripod um, just to document it really uh, because I still get questions um, about that video I did on, on these plastics, these conductive plastics or making the plastics conduct um, so I just decided to document it as I say and uh, you know that's the video um, I gave my secret away, which was large flake graphite, as opposed to uh, small stuff. So, um, and it's trial and error. You know, it's a question of having a play and just getting it right. You know, to where you want it to be. Um, I've made far more conductive plastic than that. Way, way, way less than that. Um, but I just hadn't got the time to, you know, to put the time and the effort in. It was just a quick run and there you go. Another short video from me. Wow. There's another one as well. Short. See you in a bit.